Hello there. For a good reason, Linux Mint is one of the most popular Linux distribution. It is stable, relatively easy to use, and has a good selection of default applications. If you are new to Linux Mint, here are the things you should do after, after installing it. One of the most important things you can do is to create backups of your important files. This way, if something goes wrong with your computer, you will have a copy of your files that you can restore. In Linux Mint, you can search for time shift in system menu by clicking system menu icon. Choose the snapshot type as RSYNC and click next button. Choose the disk on which snapshot will be stored and click next button. Select the snapshot levels daily, weekly, monthly. and click next button. Select users whose files and directories will be excluded and click next button and click finish button and click create button to create your snapshots. After installing Linux Mint, you must update your system to ensure you have latest security fixes and features. To update your system, you can use the Build and Update Manager tool. Launch the Update Manager from the System menu. And if there are updates, click Install Updates button. The Update Manager will download and install updates. It is recommended to install all available updates. In standard installation of Linux Mint, the main and base mirrors, which are starting points for receiving your software updates, are probably not the closest to your location and not the fastest option for your specific situation. To change to a more nearby update server, to improve update performance, you can do the following. Launch the update manager. If prompted to switch your local mirror, you can click yes button. If not prompted, you will have to go to menu bar and click edit. Select software sources. Scan the software sources screen. Click on the current server location of main. Now select mirror screen will be opened and all available servers will be checked for their specific speed. Select if possible a mirror in your country or one that is nearby. If another one is even faster just choose the fastest one. And click the apply button after the selection. Now repeat the same steps for base option. Click OK button. Now the cache will be updated. One of the most important things is to install drivers for your hardware. This is important to ensure that all of your PC hardware is compatible with the Linux Mint. This can be done in many ways, but the easiest is to use the Device Manager. The Device Manager is a tool that comes pre-installed with Linux Mint. To launch the Device Manager, click System Menu icon, select Administration, and click Device Manager. Once you opened it, it will scan your system for hardware and list any available drivers. 
You can then choose to install them. In case all the drivers are installed and up to date, then we will get the following screen. Linux Mint comes with a great selection of default software, but there are a lot of other great software out there. You can install this using the building software manager or the command line. Start the software manager and install any software you want. I recommend you install BLC, VirtualBox, Odyssey, GIMP and Skype. Search the software and then click on install one by one. After you have installed Linux Mint, it is essential to enable the system firewall to help protect your system from potential security threats. To do so, open the firewall configuration from the system menu. Enable the status. For any common connection, select deny. For outgoing connection, select allow options. In case your system has more than 16 GB of RAM, then its performance can be improved by reducing the swappiness value. To change the swappiness value, Open the terminal window and execute following command. When you ready, press enter key. I would not do it myself. I have a 4 GB of RAM. That is it. Please don't forget to subscribe to show your full support and to like the video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.